Hello! In this video I will show you five variations of one beautiful feather fan dance move. So my name is Goldminka, I'm a burlesque performer and a belly dance teacher. And here on my YouTube channel you will get burlesque dancing and tutorial videos for a beautiful you. So subscribe and yes! So I have already done another fan dance video which you can watch here and there I have explained three different moves and today we will take one of these moves and I will show you some variations of it. In fact it is this eight move. So of this move I will show you some variations. In fact, this move is called eight move because you move your hands like an eight. And it is a move that I have already learned in the kindergarten with a hula hoop. So maybe you've also learned this with the hula hoop thing. It, 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 is, <laughs> it is a beautiful move that works for feather fan dancing. So then let's grab our fans and let's start. But before we start, you have to know one really important thing about feather fans. There is a left feather fan and a right feather fan. So how do you know which one is the left one and which one is the right one? Let me show you. So here you can see the staves of the feather fan. For the left feather fan, you can see that the highest stave is here on the left side. So all the other staves are behind this. Yes, so look, left side, left stave is the highest one. And here, the other fan, the right fan, the stave on the right side is the highest one. Yeah? So compare left feather fan and right feather fan. And the feather fans open only to this one direction. So the left feather fan is always the left feather fan and the right feather fan is always the right feather fan. You cannot open them the other way around. So if you want to buy a pair of feather fins, you always have to buy a left one and a right one. Yes, so now let's start with movement number one. So for movement number one, you hold one fin in front of you. Don't hide your face with this. Be careful. Always make sure that people can see your face. And the other fin you turn above your head like this. When you turn the fin above your head, make sure to hold the fin straight. Not like this, like this or whatever, but straight, parallel to the floor. Yes, and then you can really enjoy the move of the beautiful feathers. And then you do it with the other fan. Hold this fan now in front of your body and move the other fan above your head. This movement is quite similar to movement number one. Again, you hold one fan in front of you and now the other fan you turn here at the side. In fact, you do not really move your arm too much. So you don't do a big movement with your arm. You just hold your arm quite straight in front of you and then you just move your hand joint, so like this, here. And then for going back, you present the inside of the fan. So, 
like this. And the other fan, hold your arm straight and then here, side and inside of the fan. Your side, inside. <laughs> and of course, you also can move both fans at the same time. For this movement, you go at the same time with both fans above your head. Like this. Make sure that you always have one arm a little bit bended for the lower fan and one arm is a little bit more straightened for the fan that is above the first fan. And always make sure that it is always the same arm that is the lower fan and the other fan in your other arm is the higher one. So for me it is always my right fan that's the lower fan and the other fan is higher. So then I can do this move like this. So if you mix this up, you, it could happen that you stuck here with your fans. So always uh, be sure one lower fan and one higher fan. Always the same one. For this movement, again, you hold one fan in front of, uh, of you. With the other fan, you go above your head and you turn around at the same time. Above your head and turn, turn. If you don't know in which direction to turn, I will show you one exercise. You can do it with me if you want. So, when you move your arms like this, so you get the momentum here, you automatically turn in one direction. You will find out easily which direction it is. It is the same direction in which you move your arms. Yes, it would not make any sense if you moved your arm like this and turn around like this. So, and that's what you do with the fans. Again. So, again, one fan in front of your body and the other fan above your head and turn. <laughs> yes, other direction. And you can Find out in how fast you want to turn. For me, it looks nicer if you do not turn too fast because the feathers look very fluffy and yeah. So then I think it looks nicer if you do not turn too fast. If you turn too fast, it looks like, and for me, this destroys a little bit the spirit of the beautiful fluffy feathers. <laughs> Another beautiful thing you can do with your fans is walking. So I step to this side and now I walk to the right side and therefore I also move the right fan. So I move this fan and I walk into this direction. Therefore, I do not make two big moves. I just do small moves and I walk. And the other side. Yes, and that's about the five variations of one feather fan move. I would like to know which one is your favorite one. Please let us all know in the comments below. 
And yes, with only these five variations, you can also get a whole feather fan dance choreography. Thank you for watching. If you want, you can watch my other videos here. So see you next time. Bye.